Well, hello there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrissy and I've been following the Mei Li event since it came out. In this video, I'm going to go over the steps and the route that I take to find Mei Li. So the first step you're going to do is check to see if Mei Li is available by standing in front of Tiny Bell and waiting to see if she beckons for you to help her. This will show up in the chat box or if you have chat bubbles turned on. Remember, she's not up every single day, but even if she doesn't beckon for you in chat, it's sometimes a good thing to double check if she is up just in case though. I check every day right now no matter what. I have a full guide on my channel if you need more details on how it works. Before you start running the route, you should make sure to have the mount equipment comfortable riders party in your mount tab to help you to keep running past mobs that will attack you. This will not keep you from taking damage, but it will help you to keep going instead of getting dismounted. It makes the route a little less time this way. I would also use a macro to try to target melee while you are running around. I'm familiar with her locations and sometimes I still can't see her for some reason. If you run on lower graphics, then a macro would be really helpful in case she doesn't load very fast. You can see the macro that I'm using right here. I put it on my bars to click as I run around. Once you're all set, you can start running the route. Here is the map that I have created. I usually run counterclockwise because there are more locations on that side and I'm more familiar with running it that direction. Start pushing the macro button as soon as you are in the town. If Melee is in the spot north of the town, then you will find her when you are in front of Tiny Bell. As I am running along this path, you can see most of the locations on the minimap with the green dot. I set those with an add-on to help with showing where she is in comparison to the route. Right up here, there's a location off to the side. It's a hidden ledge that is about 50.2, 23.0. If you just want to see the route and don't need the details, then you can speed up the video to see how it looks. I don't want to speed it up just in case there are people trying to run along with it to learn it. I am a hunter though and most likely chose the speed increase talent. So if you can't keep up, just pause the video until you know you're with me. Right here, we're coming up to the top of Muller's Outlook. And along this road, just past Muller's Outlook, there are four different spots that she can be found and another one as we leave this area. I have videos for each of these locations coming from town as well in case anyone needs those. Remember to keep clicking the macro button as you run along so you will target her once you find her, even if you can't see her. Right up here, there is a location under the spot where the alluring drum is located. So I turn here and run up to the chain above and check for melee on the chain from this direction. Normally if she's there though, you would have targeted her already with if you're using the macro. No matter what, I run across as part of the route instead of running to the mobs down below. You can jump onto the chain and run right across and keep checking for her from that side. So if she was here, she'd be right about here. There's a location um, above a cave right over here. Up here a little ways there's a lightning path location she's actually up hidden up here when she when she's in this location but the lightning path doesn't start until a little ways down here about right here if you keep running around this direction there's a cave off to the right that's back and around to the right side over here if you're using a target macro, you'll be able to find her without having to run over there, though. Up here is the middle of the zone, where the roots in the middle are right in front there. Again, using the target macro, you'll be able to find her easily without having to actually go to the location and check. There's a location coming up that is above the path of understanding. I run through a lot of stuff to get to this area. You would technically target her by now here, but if the graphics are down lower, you might want to get a little closer. So I run on this side and check for her, still using the macro. right up top here on a ledge 
to the right. And this is actually through Skuller's End and around a tree. And then the last location is next to the island next to the town. You should be able to see if she's there from right about here. But sometimes it doesn't catch it. So I actually went up and around again just to double check. And she'd be right about there. If you need updates on our location, I've been following her since the beginning of the event and will keep updating the locations daily as long as I can. Now, this is a circle because of the add-on I used to create it, so we're basically right where we started. Now, just real quick though, I wanted to show you what it will look like when you're using the macro and actually find Melee along the route. You click that macro and it will target her and then you can mark her so she is hopefully easier to find. You can look around and find her a little easier with that macro. Let's see, have her marked right over there. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the game.